This will sound very strange, but the sale in an auction of Michael Jordan's Air Jordan shoes that he wore during Game 2 of his last NBA championship win that sold for $2.2 million yesterday on April 11th, two days before it is predicted that a dirty bomb will explode in Manhattan, and Barack Obama's attendance at Game 2 of the 2019 NBA championship, and the Last Dance docuseries, and the ninth episode that regarded Michael Jordan's flu game, in which Michael Jordan had a flu virus, and said that he couldn't breathe during the game, which aired during the peak of the COVID virus and lockdowns when people had difficulty breathing. This ninth episode that regarded Michael Jordan's inability to breathe that aired nine days before the I Can't Breathe protests began. All of this is a prophecy that is predicting that a dirty bomb will explode in Manhattan on May 4th, 2023. And there will be a massive evacuation of Manhattan Island. It is also likely that the official narrative in the mainstream media that will emerge regarding this event will somehow be a lie. The date that this video is posted proves that this prediction was made ahead of time as does this time-stamped email and Forensic Notes PDF. If you are skeptical, please email me and I will forward these to you. Although it has been known since early 2021 that a dirty bomb would explode in Manhattan in the near future, as you can see in this email, this prediction for a dirty bomb explosion in Manhattan on May 4th was known since at least April 17th. There are also many other videos on this channel that make this prediction that were posted many days before this video was posted. This video was produced prior to April 13th, 2023. If you want to understand and appreciate how the prediction that a dirty bomb will explode in Manhattan on May 4th, 2023 is known ahead of time, it is imperative that we learn about the numerous prophetic signs that occurred on April 13th, 2023. April 13th was the climactic penultimate date in the trail of signs that is leading to the predicted date for the dirty bomb explosion and mass evacuation from Manhattan Island on May 4th, 2023. And to understand April 13th, 2023, it is imperative that we learn about and understand the trails of prophetic signs that God used to point to April 13th. Through each of these trails of prophetic signs that God used to point to April 13th ahead of time, God told a unique, amazing, and important story that everyone needs to know. This video you are watching will explain one of these stories and their related prophetic signs that God was using to point to April 13th and ultimately May 4th and the predicted dirty bomb and evacuation in Manhattan. May 4th, or the date 5-4, as we now know, hints at the 54th Massachusetts Infantry Regiment, the first black regiment in the Civil War, and the reason God has used this theme is because it conveys the theme of slavery and freedom, which is the overarching theme of the Bible and of this life and the current end times spiritual battle, the battle to end all battles that we are all involved in right now. This is why, for example, on April 13th, the S&P 500 stock index gained 54 points and the prophetic hockey game involving the team from Massachusetts had a final score of 5-4, to four, which hinted at the 54th Massachusetts Regiment. This is also why on April 13th, the 21-year-old document leaker was arrested in Massachusetts 21 days before the date 5-4, which hints at 54. Arguably, the most important video on this channel, at least in regards to the prediction for the dirty bomb in Manhattan on May 4th, the date 5-4, is the 54th Massachusetts Regiment video. Once the prediction comes to pass, you should know that all of the videos on this channel should be watched. 
However, there are a few top videos, such as the 54th Massachusetts Regiment video, the East Palestine video, the Obama Returns to the White House video, the Three Mile Island Accident video, and the Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory video. As you watch this video that you are currently watching, keep in mind that it was produced prior to April 13th, when it was believed that it would be the date of the predicted dirty bomb in Manhattan. However, like I said, April 13th turned out to be the penultimate date in the Trail of Signs that is leading to May 4th. As we can see here, this video is being recorded on April 12th, 2023. This email here proves that, that this is recorded April 12th, 2023, the day before it is predicted that a dirty bomb will explode in Manhattan on April 13th. The post date of this video proves this as well, as well as the other email and forensic notes PDF document. And also there are many other videos that were uploaded many, many days before today that are making the same prediction. On April 11th, 2023, shoes worn by Michael Jordan, his Air Jordan shoes that he wore during game two sold at an auction for $2.2 million two days before it is predicted that a dirty bomb will explode in Manhattan and there will be a mass evacuation. The game two of this NBA championship series that Michael Jordan played in was in the 45th state. It was in Salt Lake City, Utah, the 45th state to join the Union. It was against the Utah Jazz. Jazz is a genre of music that largely uses trumpets. In archaic English, the word Trump means trumpet or the sounding of a trumpet. President Trump is God's trumpet that he uses to trumpet and highlight his prophetic signs. This game too was in the 45th state and Trump was the 45th president. The number nine is the most important number in God's true big picture of signs, patterns, and connections that is only being explained on this channel. As from the Bible, the number nine is symbolism for God's judgment. And he was arraigned in Manhattan nine days before it is predicted that a dirty bomb will explode in Manhattan. 45 is the ninth triangular number. And the reciprocal of 45, which is 1 divided by 45, is 0.0222 into infinity. This is why Michael Jordan's shoes that he wore during Game 2 that sold for $2.2 million that were worn in the 45th state were sold two days before the predicted dirty bomb in Manhattan. Michael Jordan also famously wore jersey number 45. The two numbers he wore in the NBA for the Chicago Bulls were 23 and 45. Michael Jordan retired for one year, and during that time he tried out for the Chicago White Sox baseball team and wore jersey number 45. When he returned to the NBA the following year, he wore jersey number 45 for coincidentally 23 games. In Michael Jordan's final game as a Chicago Bull in this 1998 NBA championship against the Utah Jazz, Michael Jordan scored 45 points while wearing jersey number 23. This was his last Chicago Bulls game. The reason why the GOAT, greatest of all time, of basketball, Michael Jordan, wore jersey number 23 and 45 is because goat in the Bible is symbolism for the Antichrist and the goat Antichrist was the basketball president that wore jersey number 23 when he played basketball in high school and President Grover Cleveland was the only president to serve non-consecutive terms having skipped the 23rd presidency just like how Barack Obama will also serve non-consecutive terms and will skip the 45th presidency. The presidency of President Trump, which was God's trumpet trumpeting the soon arrival of the Antichrist and judgment on the nation and the world. 
45 is the ninth triangular number, which in a triangle of numbers, the last number in the ninth row is 45, and 23 is the ninth prime number. Michael Jordan's Game 2 shoes that sold for 2.2 million two days before the predicted dirty bomb will explode is hinting at the second presidency for the basketball president, Barack Obama. The day that this jersey sold on April 11th was predicted ahead of time to be a date of significance and a, a major prophetic sign because it was 102 days after the other goat of basketball, LeBron James, prophetic sign on December 30th, 2022, in which the sign was how LeBron James scored a season high of 47 points on his birthday, his 38th birthday. This made LeBron James in position number three for number of points scored in a game after the age of 38. He trailed two other players, Michael Jordan being one of them, who each scored 51 points after the age of 38. Two players that scored 51 points after the age of 38 hinted at 102, which was the reason for adding 102 days to that prophetic sign involving basketball and LeBron James, the other goat of basketball, who also wears jersey number 23 and famously played for Cleveland and won the championship for Cleveland, breaking the supposed Cleveland sports curse. Midway through his career, he returned to Cleveland, just like how Michael Jordan returned to play basketball and wore jersey 45 for 23 games, just like how Barack Obama will skip a term and return to the White House as the president, which will be the Antichrist curse. And the reason why LeBron James, player number 23, returned to Cleveland to win the championship was because President Grover Cleveland skipped the 23rd presidency and returned to the White House, as will Barack Obama. Michael Jordan wore his shoes in the prophetic last championship run that is dubbed in the media The Last Dance because of the documentary named The Last Dance that was aired in the height and the peak of the COVID lockdowns into in May of 2020. And this was a prophetic sign from God, this last chance documentary, because there was no other sports on television at the time and a lot of people watched it. The nation, in other words, the sports world was focused on this last dance docuseries. And this last dance docuseries was a play on the name, the last dance that God was using to hint at the last chance for America to repent and turn back to God, which was the COVID lockdown judgment warning. The last two episodes of this docuseries, including the ninth episode, aired on May 17th, 2020, nine days before the I Can't Breathe protests began. The ninth episode regarded the quote-unquote flu game in which Michael Jordan played in the NBA championship game while having the flu and he said that he couldn't breathe. Michael Jordan couldn't breathe because he had a flu virus and this ninth episode that regarded this flu game aired during the peak of the COVID lockdowns due to the COVID virus because of which people were having difficulty breathing. And Michael Jordan said he couldn't breathe, and this ninth episode aired nine days before the I Can't Breathe protests began. Exactly 150 weeks from the beginning of the I Can't Breathe protests, the George Floyd Black Lives Matter Antichrist protests that began at the makeshift on Chicago Avenue in Minneapolis, which hinted at the Chicago Bulls and the 44th president that is from Chicago, who will become the 48th president. And Minnesota was the 32nd state to join the union. And 32 is four times eight, which hints at 48, which is why the Antichrist Black Lives Matter protests began in the 32nd state during the peak of covid 
was the day that Michael Jordan's shoes broke the record for sales of sports shoes at an auction on April 11, 2023. God uses all-time records to highlight and confirm his prophetic signs. 150 weeks is also 25,200 hours, which hints at God's end times number in Bible prophecy, 2,520. Also, in the account of Noah's flood, the flood judgment lasted for 150 days. Air Jordan shoes hint at air and not being able to breathe, which is more confirmation for this connection between the record sale of the Air Jordan shoes exactly 150 weeks after the I Can't Breathe protests began. Also, the model number of these particular Air Jordan shoes is Air Jordan 13. The number 13 from the Bible is symbolism for the Antichrist. Nimrod, a type for the Antichrist, was the 13th generation from Ham. Haman, another type for the Antichrist, persecuted the Jews on the two 13th days of the month. And the two Antichrists are described in the book of Revelation in chapter 13. The Antichrist famously attended a game two of an NBA championship when he attended the Golden State Warriors Toronto Raptors game, which was a prophetic sign hinting at the rapture, which in Bible prophecy regards the escape of God's faithful from the coming persecution of the Antichrist when they will fly and meet the Lord in the air, hence the Air Jordans connection. The basketball president Antichrist attended this basketball game too, because it hinted at his second presidency when he will become the Antichrist, and the Antichrist's defeat at the return of Lord Jesus Christ at his second coming. Once this prediction has come to pass, you should know that you need to watch every minute of every video on this channel and read the homepage of the website trumpprediction.com or harriscrashprediction.com. Time is running out, and if for some reason you don't have enough time to watch all of the videos on this channel, I will leave a list of the most important videos in the description box below this video or on the homepage of the website. In terms of God's prophetic signs and knowing what God is doing, after having watched this video, you are now one of the most informed people on the planet. The question is, what will you now do with this information? And how many people will you help get this video to? Keep on posting the link to this video everywhere in social media. And if you are Christian, know that this video, which explains this prediction that is from God, is obviously indisputable proof for the God of the Bible and Jesus. And so make sure you keep sharing the link to this video. And if you would like the PDF file for the flyer I hand out on busy street corners, place on car wind shields in busy parking lots, and put in mailboxes, please contact me at darrenjacksinbox at gmail.com. In my opinion, every single believer, unless they have a health condition, should be doing something like this in the streets every day. Also, everyone should have some of these flyers in their pockets, handing them out as they go about their daily business, when they walk from their car into the bank or to the grocery store, as they walk up and down the aisles of the grocery store, hand them out to people. I personally don't know what someone is thinking if they are not doing this. And if someone thinks that they are too shy to do this, what I have to say is get over it. Courage isn't a lack of fear. It is action in spite of it. And God wants us to be courageous for him. Keep in mind Jesus' parable of the ten bags of gold. The bags of gold represent our abilities and opportunities, and the servants represent Christians. The knowledge in this video and the knowledge of the Lord's timing is a bag of gold. The Christian that did nothing with his bag of gold was banished to hell. The reformed Lutheran Calvinist once saved always saved theology that says that a Christian doesn't have to do anything is false and is deception from Satan. And believe me, the reason why God has given me a voice through these predictions is to prove what I have just said. Make sure you watch the 23 church signs video on this channel. Also keep in mind Ezekiel chapter 33. 
But if the watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow the trumpet so that the people are not warned, the sword comes and takes any one of them, that person is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at the watchman's hand. If you choose to not do anything about the information you have learned in this video, in other words, tell and warn others about it, it would have been better for you to not have learned this in the first place. Aliens and UFOs are demons masquerading as aliens and UFOs. These so-called aliens will make Pope Francis their ambassador for the world. The Pope is the first of the two Antichrists. Catholicism isn't the Bible and isn't Christianity. Catholicism is ancient pagan religion presented in a wrapper to make it appear like it is Christianity. Catholicism is the wolf in sheep's clothing. There will likely be a massive merry ghost that the whole world will see, but it will be demonic deception. Praying to Mary is praying to demons. God absolutely hates the pagan worship and traditions within Roman Catholicism. Please understand that I am only trying to help. I am not saying that God hates Catholics, to be clear. The New Age or New Spirituality or Consciousness religion is evil deception from Satan. The supernatural experiences that Catholics experience that confirm for them that Catholicism is true are demonic deception. The same applies to all other false religions and New Age spirituality. In 2 Thessalonians, it says we get the deception we ask for. But these spiritual experiences are demonic deception for those that refuse to love the truth and so be saved. In other words, it is foolish to rely on spiritual or mystical experiences, and those that do are asking for demonic deception. Satan is very real, he is very powerful, he has enormous power, and he doesn't fool people as a being with two horns and a tail. He presents himself and his powers as an angel of light. New Age near-death experiences are deception from Satan. There are also many, many near-death experiences of hell. Why would you believe the New Ager ones and not the ones of hell? The supernatural highs from yoga and meditation are demonic deception. They are the counterfeit Holy Spirit. Miraculous healing as a result of New Age practices such as Reiki, crystal work, yoga, etc., are demonic and from the power of Satan. There is absolutely no New Age or collective consciousness type of explanation for how these predictions were known ahead of time. They were known ahead of time through Bible prophecy and watching for God's prophetic signs. Jesus was not just another supposed enlightened master like the supposedly enlightened Buddha. Jesus was God incarnate, and he is the only way to eternal life and to God the Father. The New Age religion and new spirituality is in truth worship of the self. It is transgression of the first commandment, and it is the height of false idolatrous, false god worship. You, we, are not God. We are not part of God. God is holy, which is a Hebrew word that means separate from. The big deception in the end times will be New Age spirituality, and this satanic deception will merge with Catholicism. The purpose for these predictions, the reason why God has given me a voice through these predictions, is to prove the things that I am saying. The New Age religion is deception from Satan designed to keep someone in their pride and for repenting for their sins and for admitting that they need to be forgiven and that they need a savior, Lord Jesus Christ. New Age religion is essentially atheistic spirituality, and New Age spirituality and New Agers are essentially narcissistic, immature children that are rebelling against a disciplinary father. Contrary to what New Agers and Muslims say, the Bible has not been tainted or changed. This is a lie from Satan. There is no evidence for this. And in fact, the evidence is overwhelmingly to the contrary. If you hold the New Age belief that life is for learning lessons 
and that whatever we supposedly don't learn in this life, we will supposedly learn in the supposed next reincarnation. And if you believe that there is no need for justice, that Adolf Hitler and the child rapist and murderer will get off the hook, not only do you have a sick, twisted view of the world and your values are morally repugnant, and not only are you an enemy of the true God, which is the God of the Bible, the God of Israel, but you will go to hell unless you plead for mercy for your sin and believe in your Savior, Jesus Christ. The New Age Hindu belief that all religions are authentic expressions of the truth is a lie from Satan in order to expunge the West of its traditional Judeo-Christian values in exchange for multiculturalism and an ethos of intolerance of intolerance. This credo of inclusivism of the cult of the political left, combined with the worship of science and backed by pseudoscientific assertions regarding physics, made for fertile ground for the Hindu belief that all religions are different paths up the same mountain and fertile ground for the Hindu religious practices such as meditation and yoga. This New Age religion that is leading to the soon coming one world religion in which all religions come together in the spirit of peace is the Antichrist religion. Either the world is round or it is flat. Likewise, God is either a personal being set apart from his creation the word holy is Hebrew for set apart, or God is the creation itself, and an impersonal energy or collective consciousness, etc. This latter belief is called pantheism. God is either the creation itself, or he created the creation. He is either pantheistic or monotheistic, but he cannot be both. The monotheistic God of the Bible desires to have his holy set-apart spirit dwell inside your body, but because this God is good, he is also righteous, and he hates sin. We are created in the image of God, and as such, we have free will. Our free will is supremely important to God. God will not impose himself on anyone. No one wishes to marry a robot, and likewise, God wishes to have a genuine relationship with his creature that he has given free will to. Only when we choose God will he then choose to dwell inside us with his holy set-apart spirit. His holy set-apart spirit is the opposite of what New Agers and Hindus think of as the so-called universal spirit. For God to be able to dwell inside our body, which is a temple for God, we must first cleanse our temple, our body. The cleansing of our temple comes through repentance for our sins and commitment to follow God and his ways, which he revealed in the Bible. God will then reciprocate with his holy set-apart spirit inside us and begin the regeneration process of our souls, which will lead to eternal life. Claiming to be part of the impersonal energy God that is the creation itself, and practicing supposed spiritual exercises like yoga and meditation in order to enable supposed spiritual development, is like trying to force God into yourself without first choosing God and without God choosing you. It is like a rape or a forced arranged marriage, which not coincidentally is part of the Hindu religion. God hates this. It is also worship of the self and the height of the transgression of the first commandment to not worship other gods. Through many clever lies, Satan has deceived many atheistic spirituality people into these new age practices and this is why the energetic highs and the miraculous healings they receive is a product of the counterfeit Holy Spirit. It is the product of Satan's power. As it says in the Bible, God gives those the deception that they ask for. You will go to hell unless you repent of New Age spirituality. And the purpose of this prediction that is from God that is in this video is to prove this to you.
There is a spiritual reality behind the material world that we see. The wages for sin is death. Sin means to miss the mark. No one is good, all have sinned. Because of sin, people are captives of the ruler of this world, Satan. People's souls belong to Satan, whose power over people is death. God took the form of a man, Jesus Christ, and paid the ransom that is owed to the ruler of this world. Through Christ's death and resurrection, he defeated sin and he overcame Satan's power in death. It is through Christ and his spirit that it is possible for everyone to be forgiven of their sin and we can have eternal life if we choose it. We can choose to follow Jesus out of captivity from sin and Satan. Or we can choose to reject this and remain a slave to this world, sin, and to Satan. If one rejects Jesus Christ, after they die, they will pay the price for their sin in hell, and then they will die the second death and their soul will cease to exist. Believing in Christ means much more than simple intellectual agreement. It means to repent of sin and completely commit one's life and become a willing slave to Jesus and his kingdom. Jesus said we need to be born again, which implies a death of the self and a death to this world. Believing in Jesus implies living out one's faith through taking action that typically involves risk and sacrifice. This demonstration of faith through action is what it means to have faith and to believe in Jesus. Some Christians will tell you otherwise, but they are deceived and they ignore countless passages in the Bible. Obviously, when these predictions come to pass, you will know that you should watch all of the videos on this channel, beginning with the videos that are linked to in the description box below this video. I strongly recommend not going through the videos on this channel in random fashion, selecting titles that may be interesting, but rather I strongly recommend following my recommendations that are listed in the description box below this video. This channel is not a daily or weekly update on the latest news. Rather, this channel is a library that has documented God's true big picture of signs, patterns, and connections. Hopefully you at least found this introduction video to be interesting, and if so, please leave a like and upvote the video, and please consider sharing the video. It is essential that everyone immediately read the homepage of my website, trumpprediction.com, or predictionsproveit.com, and also check out the other information that I have linked to on the website. You should also pause this video right now and make a note of my other social media outlets. You never know when you will need them and you might not be able to find them later. Also, if you want to download these videos as podcasts, I now have a podcast channel at Podbean, which is named Predictions Prove It.